Luca! Luca! I'm streaming. I missed you. Welcome home. Hello! Yay! I miss you too. Luca, also, please give me my iron door back. You took it. Got a bed in there. <laughs> You've fallen right into I thought you had it! You I thought you had something behind right it! God, I can't get out now. You've got a pick, fucking pickaxe, you dickhead. Yeah, but I don't want to break it. I am homeless! No! What happened? I forgot, but I don't have anything anymore. Why not? For a second, I thought he meant in real life. Like, he was traveling and he hadn't gotten home yet. And he was just, like, in a train station booting up Minecraft. I actually lost everything. I don't know what happened. What? How? Alrighty then. Petra, no! Petra left! Where? It went. <gasps> Luca! <gasps> My boy. What did they do to you? Did your shit get blown up or what? He's been fugged! Guys, he's been fugged! Luca, it's okay. It's okay, my boy. Hey, hey, don't cry. Don't cry, Luca. Don't cry, boy. I'll help you. Show me the damages. Where is the... Where is the problem? I miss... Oh! I miss living with you, too. Does chat know where we slept yet? Um, oh, I don't think they do. There were two B and Bs, um, just due to like, just due to travel stuff. You know, we needed space for a lot of people, and one of them was just shared by me, Ike, and Luca. We um, we stayed in our own place, and that was the one that Ike was talking about, where the birds were really loud and everything. And that was just that was our place, and it was like a little a little um, sixty percent of Luxium house for a while. It was nice. So essentially, when uh, Ike left us, uh, he went home pretty much the same day that our B and B ran out. So the one that Ike and Luca and I had was um, uh, we didn't have it for as long as the others had theirs. And so when it ran out, um, Ike was like, "Hey guys, I'm gonna head home," and he headed home. Uh, but Luca and I were left pretty much without a place to stay. Luca had already arranged with uh, the others to go and stay with them, and uh, he was gonna, he was just gonna stay over there. However, I actually had neglected to make plans. Um, I'd neglected to make plans, and I didn't have a place to stay. Uh, I sort of came over, and I asked, you know, would, 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 um, I don't really have anywhere to stay. Would you guys have space so I can crash with you? And they were like, hmm, well, we've only, you know, we don't have that much space. Then they realized, well, I mean, we do have a, we do have a spare bed. And I thought, that's great, that's great. You just have to share with Luca. <laughs> and so for the last two days of the trip, I shared a bed with Luca. <laughs> it was a double bed. We weren't, like, cuddling or anything. But it was really fucking funny the amount of times that like because he goes to sleep a lot earlier than I do And so the amount of times that like he would just be completely fucking dead conked out asleep And I would just I would just kind of like softly get my pajamas and I just kind of like crawl in bed And then he and then to him he would go to sleep in the evening and wake up and I would be there in his bed And he has to wonder like what the fuck happened, but yes Luca and I shared a bed He's a big guy. I mean, we're both the same height, but he's a big guy, and he, um... It's weird. He he snores inconsistently. On the first night, he had this, like, little sniffly snore, but then the second night, he didn't. So I guess it's sort of... I guess it's sort of like, uh, I don't know, it's inconsistent. The, way, the same way that I sleep talk inconsistently. Yeah, we were... Yeah, we were roommates. We shared a bed for a little bit. I had a cold Sag. Oh, no. Oh, no. I miss Luca a lot. He's a lot of fun to hang out with. Yeah, he's a big guy and he took up a lot of space. And we were both big men and so sharing a bed was like, you know. I got home a little late that night. And they were like, you know, just, just share a bed with Vox. And so I did. So I did. I was like, guys, um, I don't know. 
it's it's going to be a little awkward when he wakes up and I'm right next to him. You know? <laughs> okay, I I'm going to expose him a little bit, okay? He sleeps with no shirt on. I do sometimes as well. But... <laughs> Yeah, he, he sleeps with no shirt. <laughs> so, yeah, literally, like, literally, when we woke up, yeah, so apparently he, he said that I snored, which I don't really think I do. Then again, I had a cold that night. You know, I was, I was a little, you know, sniffly. I think that's why. That's why. The next night, the next night, I went to sleep early. I went to sleep early last night. Oh, well, yeah. The, ni the night, ah, the next day, and I woke up, and and Vox's face was like right on, like it was it was just right in front of me. I was like, whoa, what the hell? Since when? Like he was just asleep. I was so surprised, <laughs> cause I didn't I didn't think he was sleeping in the same bed again. Like I didn't know we were sharing a bed again. So when I woke up, he. He was just that, like, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was so scared.